Are you here because you bricked your device? Or just want to install a custom ROM? You probably didn't understand what I just said, but are you also here to update your phone? You're in the right video! Hi there pros, my name is Brett Pro and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to find a firmware for your phone and flash it via Odin. In simple words, I'm gonna show you how to update your phone when this update is not available in your region. Or you probably just want to go from beta to stable. Well, let's get into it then. Well, well, here we are at the desktop. Now the two tools you will need are Freeja and uh, Odin. The links are in the description of course. This is the websites where you can get them. Freeja is needed for downloading the, the firmware. At the end, you can see this is the latest version. Download that. And as for Odin, download also the latest version. This one here. After downloading them, extract. After extracting, let's open Freeja first. This one right here. If this shows up, just click more info and run anyway. It's not such a popular software, that's why it shows up. Now here, I suggest you leave this auto, unless you want something more advanced. And there you write the model of your phone. Where you can find it is at settings, about phone, and there you can see your model number. This is mine. And CSC is the region or country of the phone. In my case, I'll just write DBT, this is for Germany. If you want another country, you can check the cheat sheet I put in the description. And now you click check update. Now it found the latest update because that's what I want in this case. I want to update and you click download. Then you choose the destination. I'm choosing download and save. Then you have to wait for the process to finish. Now that it's finally complete, what you do is exit the program and go to Odin. Before going to Odin, don't forget to extract the update. Okay, it's extracted. Now go to Odin. Launch this one here. Now what you do here is you have to click each of these. Start with BL. Go to where the update is. Open it. And as you can see, one of the files starts with BL. Open it. Do the same for each of them. AP, the same for CP2. Now this is where you have to be careful. For CSC, there is CSC and Home CSC. Use Home CSC. This one will not wipe your data. If you do CSC, your data will be wiped. So I'm using this one. Okay, next what you do is turn off your device. Then to go to download mode, insert the cable to your PC press the both volume up and volume down buttons and then connect the other end of the cable. Okay, now I press both of the volume buttons and then I insert the cable in order to go to download mode. Now that we are here, press volume up to continue. As you can see, it says added. Now just click start. Well, the installation was successful. Now that your device is on, remove the cable, turn it off, and after it's off, you have to go to recovery mode by putting the cable again and pushing volume up and power button. There, Navigating with the volume buttons, go to wipe cage partition. Select that with the power button and select yes with the power button. Then just select reboot system now. And that's all. You have successfully installed the firmware in your Galaxy phone. Well, that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did and if it helped you, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment below and I will try my best to help you. And subscribe to become a pro. Bye.